thank you very much, guys, for this incredible show. Oh. It's the first of the tour. Yes. How it was on stage? Um, we had a few technical issues, <laughs> <laughs> which, we okay. which we were just discussing. But to be honest, it's, it happens. Yeah. You know, like, but it's the first show, so yeah. yeah. And it's still good. But Parisians are. Uh, yeah, the, the crowd were awesome. The yeah. crowd, the crowd like you know, when you go and play these things, you're not sure if. Uh, if people are going to be into it, because obviously people come to see nothing but thieves. Exactly. Know, we're a little bit harsher, mm -hmm. um, but no, it was a warm welcome. Yeah, especially considering your amps were breaking for most yeah. of it. I was on the ground, and most of the people know the words of oh, your songs, so. Shit, that's I couldn't see the crowd at all. Yeah. <laughs> Even with sunglasses off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to take them off to try and see something. Yeah, it's nice when they know the words. It gives yeah. you a bit of a break, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Well, it? So, um, <laughs> your young band. Of course, uh, but you have only one album. Your notoriety grows day by day. Mm. How you explain that? I don't really know what that is. I, mean, I don't know when it happened. No, because uh, for years no one cared. <laughs> 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 uh, and then all of a sudden, really? it seems like. I mean, we always liked the songs, didn't we, from yeah. day one? And I, it just seems like people like the songs, you know. Like it seems like they enjoy. The it, it takes a while for like. I mean, we were kind of like bubbling on the underground for a while. You know, mm. we were playing. Like pre-pandemic, we were playing a lot of smaller shows around yes. Europe, so we kind of built a bit of a, a smaller fan base. Mm. And then as it started to take off a bit more, mm. I, I guess it's just word of mouth spread. You know, people were like yeah. sharing the songs and yeah. And we tried, we tried to put on a good show. You know, absolutely. Which is easier said than done sometimes, but yeah, for the most part, very tiring. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's hard when all your stuff's breaking. But um, yeah, yeah. yeah, we try, we try to go for it. You know, we try yeah. to sort of. Uh, do it like it's the yeah. last time we're going to do it. Yeah, these people remember us as the guys that jumped around a bit. Yeah, they sounded terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we should, I think maybe maybe a bit of that as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we just appreciate that we're going for it and we can barely play our instruments. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know. uh, the first time uh, I listened to your songs, mm. uh, I immediately thought about the Ramones. Mm. Um, however, you, you didn't live when the Ramones were, were no, touring. Sadly so. not, sadly <laughs> not. Uh, where does the desire to play that kind of music came? I mean, it's all I listen to. Mm -hmm. I just listen to punk rock records, so like it was a kind of natural thing to want to play mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. But I think uh, the intensity of it, mm -hmm. you know, like the like just it kind of, there's no bullshit. Mm -hmm. You just go out and you just hammer through the songs, mm -hmm. you know, and you keep the energy high. And that's the kind of thing that appealed to us. You know, like we don't have to go out there and give any kind of big, big speeches about stuff. And you know, and like we just want to keep the energy going. The Ramones were the best at that. Absolutely. You know, so that's I think it's that's the adrenaline as well, like you say, the, the energy and the adrenaline of it. But also, it's sing along as well. Mm. You know, it's not like. I mean, I like heavier stuff as well. But, exactly. But the thing with that Ramones thing is like it's. When it's it all got, sounds the same, but it's all great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got. It's got. It gives you that adrenaline rush, but you can also like. <laughs> you get stuck in your head. Exactly. So it's like it's got the sort of pop pop sensibilities with the rock kind of or whatever you want to call it, punk kind of adrenaline to it, which is which is so addictive. It's yeah. So addictive. But now it's really hard for us to play anything slower. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really difficult. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think that you're more influenced by the American punk rock and not yeah. not English. No, yeah, yeah, I mean we like the English. Like Clash and stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, so, there's so many good bands. You, 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 you don't well. sound like Clash. No, you don't sound like yeah, no, 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 exactly. no. I do love them though, but um, yeah. And Clash, Sex Pistols. Yeah, I like the Sex Pistols, but again, it's not, I, we don't sound like that. No, Absolutely. No, no, like, I, I think we we're kind of like influenced by bands like Mark Men and Radioactivity Activity as well. They yes. Were like, so you can kind of hear, I mean, I guess they're American, so it kind yeah. of. It comes through in our music as well, yeah. that kind of American style. I have to stop myself from talking with an American accent. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I'm singing like every like every... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it goes to singing songs, I'm like, howdy! Oh, fuck! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> howdy, partner! <laughs> howdy, partner! <laughs> I have to like stop... We're from the UK! <laughs> <laughs> I did that, do that, I used to do that so much. I'd be like, why am I talking in an American accent? It's so stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, yeah, as you said, like, I think Radio 2 is the band that we listen to like, yeah. a lot when we started. No. And, uh, yeah, you end up kind of being an amalgamation of, of yeah. all the stuff you were listening to at the time you kind of wrote the songs. Mm -hmm. And if they happen to be American bands, it's kind of hard to not to have like that twang. in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's not, it's not like a conscious thing, <laughs> is it? I don't no. think. No, not really, no. 
just plagiarism. Well, they, they did write a song called USA, so they can <laughs> <laughs> um, your, your songs are short and, not, uh, and they don't exceed three minutes. No. Uh, is that important for you to, to keep this format only less than three minutes? Well, I think like we, we've, on the new album we've got some songs that are less than two and then, we, <laughs> and then we've got some songs that are more than three. So we kind of like, we have branched out a little bit into experimenting with, you know. The thing is only when it feels right. Like there's uh, everything on the first record wouldn't have felt right if it was any longer. Uh, You know, there's a few tracks on the new record which are a bit more like kind of exper experimenting with how how can we push our style in, 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 into, a, into a longer format song, if we can, you know, and because uh, you wouldn't want to do it for the sake of well, it. We've always, we've always kind of lived in fear of writing boring songs. Yeah. That's you know, and, and if you have bits that just repeat <laughs> over and over and over again, mm. that is essentially a boring song. Yeah, you, yeah. Want to, you want to put the song on again and listen yeah. to it again rather than... Listen to the same hook a million times. For sure, time. yeah. You want the, you want things to be interesting. As long as it's interesting, we don't think. I don't think we care how long it is. Yes. As long as it doesn't feel like it's long to <coughs> listen to, you know. As long as you listen to a song and you're like, you're in it the whole way, and you're not like thinking, oh fuck. We definitely, yeah. First album was sort of like we we didn't try to write things short, but it just came out. Like it that came and out. It yeah. felt good because you know, it mm -hmm. felt right. Um, but I think it's important for us to have certainly keep writing those kind of songs. The energy. And still trying other things as we go, so we're not just doing this exact same thing every time for our own sanity. But like, you know, we, I think that is a staple of this mm. band. It's just mm. the, that's the, those are the songs we really, really love, is the short and sweet, you know, just because that's what this It's is. immediate, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just, just like, like a, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's what gets us going, you know. So yeah. we don't really, really want to write stuff and have songs that we would listen to. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. like, that fit our kind of personal taste. Mm. And if other people like it, then great, you know, mm. but... Yeah. Who bring the main ideas on the band? Tell us more about the songwriting process. Well, I mean, the first album was basically just me and Will, like, in my... Oh, okay. Yeah, my dad's garage, just jamming. <laughs> I'd play drums and he would play guitar. Oh, okay. And we would just jam song ideas, you know, just like that, and then record it on the computer and then... And then I'd try and turn them into songs after, like afterwards, and uh, that's how we did most of the first album. Really, it was just us jam jamming, and then we we sent some of them to job. And so we're like, you know, do you want to join a band with us? And he was like, no, actually, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 I was like, no, no. And he was like, yeah. okay, wait, no. Like, what are these suckers? Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's how we did the first one. And then yeah, and then this second one, I've, I've pretty much done a lot of it on my own this time, which is a bit okay. nerve wracking, but only mainly because. Me and Will, we were touring so much, and Will was working five days a week. I had to quit my job. Oh. So then we had no time to like really write much. We got like, we we collaborated on some of the songs, but I had to do a lot of this one on my own, which is terrifying. I mean, like the first the first album was written not for anything other no. than you know pleasure. Yeah, mm. and then it's the band started to go somewhere, and it's mm. like right, well, we need another one. Yeah, we need to like we can't just dine out on this. Yeah, forever, you know, we need to have. I wish like, we could. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, it's, We, we've toured so much, mm. you know, like we, we haven't stopped, no. so it's hard to have any sort of studio time. We finished mm. the bass on the tour bus, didn't we? Yeah, we, 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 we basically, like, we knew we had to have the album, the new album sort of done, yes. so, like early this year-ish, although we didn't realise how set in stone that was. And we did all these tours, we came back in November, we did a bit of bass, didn't we? So many things hadn't been done, and then we went on tour for a month, and as we were on the tour in December, we were like, when we get back, we've got a month to finish it. We haven't even, I've no, no vocals recorded, but about three or four of the songs were still not right. You yes. know, still yeah. being kind of written. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's just been crazy. So like, we came back and I was in, in the street. Almost killed him. Yeah, that's why I was suffering. <laughs> I was sleeping on my bed. Yeah, <laughs> a cough. Yeah, I was sleeping on my, uh, on Mike, the guy who's produced, uh, he did the first album as well. Yeah. I was sleeping in his studio, just in the live room, on the little mattress, like a crack den. And, uh, <laughs> just trying to get it done, and we, we mastered it about four days ago. And I think it sounds pretty cool. It But it's been cool. it's been crazy, crazy process, you know. Like, the yeah. first one was, like, so... Not that this one has been fast, but, like, this last bit has been pretty fast. Yeah. Like, it's, in a way, it's good, because it makes you do it. Because, yes. you know, you can overthink things. And be like, and, you know, there's songs where you'll love it and then you'll change it and change it and change it until you don't love it. And then you're like, I don't know what to do anymore. And you get trapped. It's, it can be a nightmare. But like gone are the days of going to a studio mm. for like three months. I know, and just yeah. Working yeah, on yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine that. About three hours. I know, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, it's, uh, 
We definitely want to. We definitely want to keep that staple of the, the fast song. We've got some really cool songs on this album. I think that are fast and short that we love. And Too fast, can't play. Yeah, it. yeah, literally can't play. It. <laughs> <laughs> but then we've got some other ones that are like mm. you know a little bit a little bit different, but I still think have that bad nerves mm. energy to them. It'd be interesting to see what people think. Yeah. Really, you know, you don't want to just repeat the same thing again. No, uh, because I mean you but, can't. But, you have to make a conscious effort to try and repeat yeah. that, and that's not very cool. Every time I tried to write a song that sounded like the first album, mm. I was like, right, people are expecting yeah. it to sound the same, or whatever that means. Absolutely. You try it, and then like, it just doesn't sound right. Because the first one was written without thinking, we're like, this is what we like. And like, so you can only write based on what you like. You Absolutely. Know? And if that has changed, then that's just what it is. <laughs> you know? it's, it's unusual to have a live album so soon in the yeah. career of the band. So yeah, yeah. Tell, us about, tell us more about that choice mm. to publish a, a live album. The live album. Excuse me, just, that, is the, that is the real, yeah. that's yes. the real thing. Yeah, we were talking about the Ramones yeah. earlier, like one of our favourite kind of collective it's alive. records. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's alive. Best. Because it just encapsulates everything about what we want to do. Yeah. And so we, we booked a, things like a five day UK tour and mm. we had like, up to this point, we didn't really know how popular we were. We didn't, we didn't have a clue. Yeah. We just booked these shows and we're like, God, I hope people turn up. Yeah. And on the last day, it was London and it was sold out. And like really, only, only a small venue. Yeah, but we were like, wow, awesome. like, yeah. I can't believe we've sold out a venue. And so yeah. we decided to record that show mm. because it's kind of a special thing. Yeah. And it was such a crazy show that there was meant to be more songs on that record. Mm. Oh, okay. But the, um, it got so hot in there that all the equipment blew up. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. working, yeah. A bunch of the mics all broke and like... <laughs> so the whole, I'm surprised no one died, to be honest. It, it was, was crazy, It was yeah. the hottest, it was like the, the ceiling was so low mm. and just that sweat was just pouring off it. <laughs> it feels like one of those things looking back when we watch it back because of the, the videos online, like the scrappy video of Islam film. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like, it looks as crazy as it felt. You yeah. know, like it was just... You see like the camera start to steam <laughs> up and yeah. everything, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it was really... Uh, it was really nuts, but and the weird thing is, even though we knew we were recording it, I remember at the time like our manager and Mike, the guys doing mixing, like you know they were recording it. But it was a kind of a bit. I mean, to me anyway, I remember it being blasé. I, I kind of I knew they were recording it, but I didn't necessarily know for certain it was going to be a live album. Yeah, we were just yes. going to record it and whatever. Yes. Okay. And then it turned into this thing where it's like it's just captured us. Yeah, it's kind of one of my favourite ones. Yeah. yeah it's, exactly. It kind of captured like a time mm. in our career where yeah, we were like kind of just, <laughs> it was the first time we kind of felt like, you know, like we're going we're, we're, we're to actually do something with this. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. And it sounds, um, and what I like about it is that it's like, it's us just playing the instruments, you know, with, with all, the, all the mistakes, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like when we did the album, like obviously we, we, we don't edit our fucking albums to be like, you know, this computer fucking, oh, yeah. but we still play them you know, we do a bunch of, t they get it sounding, you know, tight, like, maybe we want it to sound tight, because we want, we want to be proud of ourselves in being, like, tight band, and I think we are, mm -hmm. but, like, studio tight is different to live, so you one absolutely. go live, absolutely. Absolutely. and then you, so you get all the little mistakes in there, which, really, I love that, because yeah. it's like, because it's like human, you know what I mean, and I think sometimes with studio albums, that human mm. thing, it, yes. it disappears, absolutely. and it can really kill it. You know, like it really kills. When you record the studio album, you play live? Or not? No, we don't. We want to, but the problem we wanted to do it with this one as well. But we we just ain't got time. We haven't, we haven't got time to learn the songs to rehearse to rehearse them yeah. to, to that point so where it's like soft. yeah. And we got it because we wanted to do because the first one we didn't do live, but but we wanted to. And in hindsight, maybe we should have. But because it was the first one, we we were, we were too scared to do that. We were like, yeah. doing like a studio, and then this one it's like. We wouldn't be too scared to do it, but now we don't have the time to get the song. Plus, like, I, I feel like the newer Sorry. one as well. There's like bits that you kind of want to put in that would be quite difficult to nail <coughs> yeah. live. Do you know what I mean? Because it is, it is a different record to the first. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's a lot more kind of different stuff in there. So. Yeah, definitely. So um, we're a bit, some of the songs are a bit bigger. You know, a bit more going on, and uh, to do that. It's a fucking like, didgeridoo in it. For fuck's there sake. is a didgeridoo in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can't do that. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, I do think that uh, the thing is, if we, I feel like because the first album is the, that studio album, mm. that has kind of like almost set the tone. Yes. So then, if we go into the studio and do it and do it live, it's gonna sound, it's gonna, some, it's gonna throw some people off. So then you've got this weird thing of like, mm. oh, I don't know, 
should we do that now? Because it won't sound as tight as that first one, because that first one, you know, you're, it's more like, you know. But I think the trick is to do another live album. Yeah, well, that's the, album, the new stuff. We're already that. stockpiling. We recorded, we did a Euro, European tour in October. Uh, for about 15 shows, 14 shows it was in 15 days. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, um, it's but we recorded all of it. And we oh. recorded our, we sold out of a 550 cap venue in London with a few other cool bands, Eater and yeah. fans, um, in London a few weeks ago. And we recorded that as well. So we're going to compile another live oh, album. Because I feel yeah. like that, I love the studio one, but I also <laughs> love the live one. I think we all love that. We want people to be able to hear both. You know, it's like, here's us in the studio when we like can, can do it a couple of times. Uh-huh. Here's us when we're actually playing it and we fucking just go with it. Here's <laughs> us jumping around. Here's <laughs> <it's like, laughs> you know, like, um, so there's, there's magic in both. Absolutely. You know, there's magic in the yeah. studio for uh, sure. And there's magic and in a real, there's a real magic in yeah. the errors of the lives. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Like, absolutely. If that makes sense. But. Tell, tell us more about the lyrics. What are the main topics you, you talk about of the lyrics? It's not the same uh, punk spirit mm. on the, than, than the 70s. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, you know, and that, that, like, there's a whole thing of, you know, being, you get bands that are political bands and stuff. Mm. And, like, we have lines and songs that are, you know, have hints of, like, political yeah. things. But generally, I think I like to write about, uh, I don't know, um, I think, like, metaphorical things, like the, the idea of, life beyond death and like you know like and, and obviously personal experiences and things like that and uh but i never like to write things too literally i want people to be able to read it or listen to it and have their own interpretation you know i don't want to be like i went to the shops yeah. and made a tea and then i went home and watched tv blah, blah, blah. you know that's like, a hit yeah isn't it yeah. Like that down. <laughs> um, but you know i think it's i like things to be mysterious you know yeah. like um I don't want to say poetic because I don't consider myself a poet by any means but I like to try to be you know like I like to try to be this average Joe that's trying to like say things in a, in a bit more of an interesting way yeah. it's hard sometimes it's, it's hard though Louis. sometimes it's sometimes you get some really cool stuff and other times I'll be there for like oh I, I, I can't figure out a way yeah. to say like I'll have an idea for something I want to say but you're trying to fit it in Phonetically, and so the syllable and so it all feels nice. Mm. It can be really difficult, you know. Yeah. But it's it's so much fun. It's so much fun as well. But I don't know. I think a good lyric is worth its weight in gold. You know, like, I hear a lot of lyrics today in the rock rock bands and things where they just don't really they don't really make me feel much. You know, oh. I like I like it when there's something there which makes me go, oh, what does, what do they mean by that? I think they mean this, or that's what it means to me. Exactly. Because then if it doesn't make a listener go inward then they're not going to have an emotional <coughs> response, you know. You want to be, I want to be emotionally invested in music I listen to. I want to hear it make me contemplate things and like whatever, you know. And I want people who listen to music to have that same experience, you know. Otherwise it's sort of just like watching adverts on TV. It doesn't go deep, you know. You want yeah. it to go yeah. beyond. It's so it's, you know, it's an important part. Hard, but great. <laughs> I thought that answered the question. But. You, you, uh, you, you were in the USA, I think, a few yeah, yeah. weeks uh, September, yeah. in September. Yeah. Is it different to, to play in the USA than oh, yeah, in, uh, yeah. in Europe? It's, it's, it's a well, Europe, Europe is yeah. really great as well. Yeah. America and Europe are great. England's... Actually, yeah. I'll, I'll show you the other day in London was amazing. But like to- supporting other bands in England when you're not the main band yeah, absolutely. Is, can be hit and miss. Yeah. It's like, crowds you don't, you don't really get looked after as, as well no, but you, you, know, you are treated sort of like well that's why we we'd come out of here um before this kind of started to take off and we'd, we'd go to france and holland and it was kind of like our second home because we got treated so well mm. you know like people really appreciated right. the effort it was for us to come and like do this and yeah. it was so nice and refreshing and then when we went to america we were like we weren't really sure how that would go mm. but Man, it was, it was incredible. Yeah, like, oh. really receptive. But I kind of feel like Americans get a bit of a bad... bad you, were, you were headlining? Uh, no, no, we were supporting Royal Blood. Yeah, like, from, Royal from Brighton, really nice guys. Great but like, too. we are quite different to them, so we thought we might go on first and mm-hmm. just have a bunch of people just kind of staring at us. Because <laughs> like, they're like, more like, I don't know what they're But it, 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 was, it was the polar opposite. Yeah. People were, they just wanted to chat to you, and yeah. they, they really showed their appreciation. You yeah, know, like, it, it, was, was, uh, it was nuts. We had some times after the shows, the merch, where people were like, you know, like, we was like dangerous. Yeah. Like, you know, it was like just flat, like, they loved it. And to us, we were like, it's just, we're just so grateful. Yeah. And to be able to go out to America with your band, like, we, we didn't think we'd ever do that. 
I, I, I thought I actually died and I was having some sort of like final dream. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, like this is the dream you had yeah, just yeah. before you died, like what you wanted to do. Yeah, it's the last time you in a car, just like. <laughs> yeah, I think we just, we are just. We have that nice final thought. Yeah. Yeah, we just so like, just every time we meet somebody, in the, wherever it is, like, whether it's in France or America, like somebody who seen the gig or loved the band, like, we don't take it for granted. So it's so yeah. nice because we, we've been doing this for years, like, just for fun. Nobody knew the band or like the band for years. You know, just we, we, we always now. find like kind of that, that whole ego thing, like, really cringe, you know? Like, you know, when people are like, like oh, I'm a rock star, you're like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. like, it's just like, you're just people. Yeah, you're, you're, just, you're just people playing instruments. Like, yeah. there's no difference. You know, I'm a music fan. Yeah. Like if I wasn't doing this, I'd be going to gigs watching bands. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's no there's no difference. So it's nice when you kind of go away. We just make a lot of friends. Don't yeah, we? yeah. We just start that's, that's how we see it. We've like, we, yeah. we got loads of friends. Yeah. In, in, in... We connect over liking our music. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. It's, uh, yeah. But no, America, America is amazing. So much more beyond what we expect. Yeah. Because for us, Europe has always been the best place. So it was so nice to go that far away and it'd be like, this is the same in a way. You yeah. know, like, it's got the same energy. Like. <coughs> Like just yeah, as you say, France has always been a great place. Yeah. The Netherlands has been. Great. I think France was the first place we played abroad, wasn't it? Yeah, we played Paris. Actually. Where was it? We played yeah. Paris. Le, Le Me Mechanique. Uh, yeah, uh, Mechanic. yes. Yeah, well remembered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had a great burger afterwards. Did you? Yeah. Great accent. <laughs> yeah. Where was another place we played? We played uh, recently. So, oh. well, we, we sold out. So it was only about 90, 90 cap. <laughs> I was going to talk about it tonight, but I couldn't remember where it was. Oh, that was amazing. I was having so many technical difficulties that between the songs, I couldn't even know what to say tonight. I was like, I was thinking technical difficulties, and I was like, well, well what do I say? <laughs> uh, but no, we played this gig in this tiny basement in Paris. In Paris? Yeah, not literally like two, three months ago. Where the fuck was that? The club? I don't know, it doesn't ring a bell. Should I look it up? Look, should we look it up? Go on. Well, what was it? Did we have a tour boat? And then you will be uh, again in France the 25 August in a festival. What's that? So you said that, although we don't really, we What's are terrible that? at knowing when we're playing. But which, yeah, which if you that? say we That's are, the, yeah, then we believe you. Yeah. Let <laughs> <laughs> me get this. Is, is the tour poster still up? Have I removed it? You. You. Piece of, shit. <laughs> piece of work. Wait, it might be on my thing. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, he doesn't even care that much. We're like, we I must know. find out. Okay, le international. Le international. Ah, le international. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, it's, it's, a small, <laughs> it's a small club. Cool, cool, yeah, story, yeah. cool story, bro. Yeah, so that's what we played. Yeah. Uh, next question. <laughs> yeah, no, but that was what, 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 But the stage is, is tiny. Yes, absolutely. And the festival? Yeah, yeah. What, what festival are we playing? Can you tell us? <laughs> I don't know the name of the festival. <laughs> <laughs> I just take a look. 25 yeah, yeah. August, okay. Yeah. I, I will probably be there. Hopefully, we'll be there. Yeah, come. <laughs> come down. Hopefully we'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, thank you, we thank love you. a lot uh, the band. So Thanks we hope so the much. best for the tour. Yeah. It's, so it's just the first, the first gig of the yeah. of the tour. Get this one out of the way. Yeah. Tomorrow is going to be stars. Cool. You mean to go on? That's what. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow is the biggest gig we've I think we've ever played. Where? Uh, where is it? <laughs> it's, it's Belgium. Is it ah, it's, it's in Belgium. I can tell you where. So you will travel tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, and then it's Sweden. Aren't yeah, you, you are on the tour bus? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, Is it easy um, to, say, to, to tour every day, singing, no. every day, playing? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it depends it, how you approach it, because it, you, 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 it is hard, but then you think in the long run, a nine to five job is so much harder. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like working work in an office, like staring at a like, that's hard. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, weird, it's like, it is hard. Because it's you know physically it's it's not for, for, for your voice. It's, 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 it's not a nightmare, but it is it's hard. You know, I've got to be, I've got to go to bed. As soon as we're done here, I'm going to not speak until tomorrow. Oh, okay. Because I have to. Yes. You know, <laughs> great for them lot. But no, it's like it's it's, <laughs> it's hard, but I think because we, because we love it, we fucking love it. You know, it's like you have times obviously where you're like, fuck me, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Like last night, we like we had to get the ferry, oh. and I'm thinking like, right, we'll get on the tour bus. We go, blah, blah, blah. We'll get to bed by like 10, we'll have a sleep, <coughs> especially for voice, you know, and rest, yes, sleep, yes, and so absolutely. forth. And then we get the fucking thing. And it turns out we've got to get off the fucking bus and the ferry, stand sit on the ferry until three in the morning. I'm sitting in a chair on the ferry, <laughs> and then we get back on the bus, and then I can't really sleep. And then we wake up, it's like, oh, we've got to play a gig, and I'm like, fucking hell. Yeah. So you do have times where you're like, bloody, but it's just like, you, we kind of live in the, it's living the dream. Yeah, you know? you, you, we we, we'd be arseholes if we didn't appreciate yeah. it. Because you know? we've played, we have played shit fucking gigs. 
for yes. a long, long, long yeah. time. It's <laughs> like no long, one. Longer than I even want to say. Yeah. Yeah. But you're away from home. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We've, been, we've been away, you know, like... But now we've got to a point where we're supporting so many amazing bands who we respect, playing to so many bigger crowds. Yeah. And like, well, this, this is what every young band wants to do, isn't yeah, it? Yes, absolutely. You know I mean? yeah, so absolutely. we don't yeah. appreciate yes, it. No, we, we, we are just trying to live it every moment. Yeah. Like, you know, because it, it, it'll be over at some point. Exactly. Like, we've been in other it'll bands be before. Blink of an eye. Yeah, I was in like other bands before, and like you feel like, oh, we've been doing this as a band, we're gonna do it. And then out of nowhere, it's fucking done, it's done. And then you, you don't, yeah. you don't realize that you didn't appreciate it. You didn't live it, you were too busy sort of thinking about the bits that annoy you. Like, I'm tired. I don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're sort of like, no, you're fucking going yeah. to stage playing gigs. You could die tomorrow. Yeah. Like, I hope not, but yeah. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, I do feel a bit rough. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we, we fucking love it. We're, we're just very grateful we for just, everything. We want to do it until the wheels come off, basically. Not the bus, though. Not the, not the bus. <laughs> <laughs> until the wheels just come off. Just skidding off. along the motorway. Oh, Molly. Yeah. So, so thank you very much. No, thank you thank so you. much. We hope to see you again here in France. Okay. Hello everybody, I'm Bobby from Bad Nerves. I'm John from Bad Nerves. And we are here at Olympia? Olympia. Olympia in Paris, playing with Nothing But Thieves on the first date of our tour with them. Big up United Rock Nations for chatting with us. And uh, yeah, rock and roll lives. We'll see you next time.